step by step what I do for meats. So we're gonna make my face go from this into this. <sighs> this will be interesting today. Well, as you can see, my face is a little splotchy because of my spray tan I got. I usually get spray tan, so it's starting to kind of fade. To make your face stay the longest possible, you need to make sure you prime your face. You spray your face with setting spray before you put product on and you set your face with setting powder. That could be uh, Laura Mercier powder, that could be any loose powder. Those are the three steps you do before any contour, really flawless, poreless look. Those are the very important things. I've already done this, but I set my face and moisturize with this Exuviance Gentle Cleansing Cream. I'm telling you guys, this is so good. It makes your face smooth and it doesn't make it oily. And the more oily your face is, the better it is to moisturize more often. Make sure you moisturize. So I'm gonna prime first. Today I'm gonna be using the Pore Professional by Benefit. I usually use Tarte, but today we're gonna use this. If you have red marks like this on your lip or you know like pimples or old red mark scars it's always good to put concealer first then foundation that way even if your foundation is super good you really won't be able to see any of those red marks i'm using my shape tape tart concealer this time i'm using the light medium because i am darker today because i'm off sporter town when those lights are on you man you want to make sure you look in just tan, no cellulite or any type of fatness. You know, those, those cameras show everything. Those Leos do not hide anything. You need to just cover that up. Spray tans do that. So that's what I do. I'm taking this stippling type brush. I can't find what it is on this brush. Either it washed away or it's just not Morphe and I just can't figure it out. But it's a stippling brush and it's really good for blending. And if you still see redness through it, just put some more on it. You can never put too much concealer on. You need to conceal those things that you don't want people to know about you. So acne, stress, just concealer is, is the way to go, man. I'm taking the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm gonna be using a beauty blender today to really make sure that powder sinks into those pores. Now I'm taking my large Tarte blending foundation brush and I'm just putting it in all over my face to make sure it sets in my face. This way now my oils won't creep up or the setting powder will kind of stop me from sweating and I know that kind of sounds like really nasty but I promise it works. Also setting spray, it will make sure that it sets your face and that way your translucent powder won't move your makeup will not move it won't go anywhere i have got it down i sweat and just it does not move during competitions i still got a good face it does not move. now that i've brined my face set my face and sprayed my face i'm going to go in with a underneath contour i'm taking my anastasia beverly hills Coco Stick Foundation. I use this because it's got more of a red tint underneath, so that way it kind of conforms with the color of my skin after the foundation goes over it. Depending on how tan I am, I use less or more, so because I am more tan with my spray tan, I use more of this, especially on a meat day. What you can see me doing is really pressing in and flicking upwards because that way it does create such an uplifted look. It creates a natural cheekbone and outlines your shadows in a way where you will have such an uplifted look that is really hard to accomplish. But it really actually isn't that hard. If you still have a little bit of harsh lines, it's okay because you're gonna put foundation over it. So honestly, the little harsh line would create almost like a 
jawbone type look so your contour will be literally on point it will look good now i'm taking my nars natural radiant long wear foundation in the shade m4 barcelona because i really like the glow from within look i always use some type of radiant drops or like liquid highlighter with when mixing in my foundation you will have this glow with from within look i'm telling you you will be just glowing like a healthy like bronze goddess look and that's what we're doing and because i want my foundation to stay longer i also sometimes put in these farsali drops because this is really meant to keep your foundation in place and set for a long period of time i do use this for meats or any oh whoops any time i'm going to be wearing makeup for a long period of time which isn't a lot actually i don't wear makeup every day y'all like that's a lot especially this this to this extent like no thank you can see the natural contour natural this is not natural i don't know why you use that word so much <sighs> today is a stroke bus today it was a day i probably should have not videoed myself talking i gotta overdo my face because i'm not a normal human being they can just leave their face alone with just one simple step i gotta do 25 now i always set my face again because i want this to last all Day. if you want your foundation to last a very long time always always set your face every time you put liquid on your face and I mean like translucent powder now I'm going to be highlighting my face I'm going back in with tape shape concealer and I'm going to be highlighting my face same brush as before I'm just smoothing it out making sure there are no creases and using the excess to just put it where I want my face to be more highlighted. Now I'm going to be semi-baking. I don't really call this baking because I don't love baking. I've kind of said that before, but this way I will not crease and my oils on my T-zone will not be coming up. And you just kind of check where else you need to just press in and try to find those pores because they're really everywhere. My important tip for contouring, I use two different shades. For my darker shade, I use the well, darkest shade in this Kat Von D, Sombre. It is super dark because I know most people will have this brush. I'm going to be taking using the tip of this contour brush. And I'm going to be lightly tapping the darkest shade, and I'm going to be lining it with my cheek. And I'm going to be using the excess to just put it all where I'm contouring, especially underneath your jawline. So I'm so new to this that I forgot that after a while, it'll stop recording. And it stopped recording. So... I'm gonna just, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'll just show you the steps that I did because I'm already too far into it. So after I created these really sharp lines, I used this brush and I used a lighter color. This is still pretty dark because I am darker today. And this is just a sample of Tarte's Hotel Heiress. And I just tapped it like this and I used the larger part of the brush and I put it underneath my cheeks but still where I contoured so I'm just smoothing out those harsh lines and you always want to go underneath your cheeks so it gets that little cheek look always spread it around use the excess everywhere just really just spread it around spread and blend like butter because I've baked my face what I did was I go in with this hello flawless this is the shade that's just my regular color shade this way I'm just 
using it so there's no flashback and there's no bright unblended places on your face. Don't be afraid to go over your contour. It's always good to smoothen your contour. That way you really don't have harsh lines and your contour won't go anywhere, I promise. And if your contour does go, like, it doesn't show through as much as you'd like, you can always go underneath right here, back again. And you really wanna smooth out outwards into your contour so that way it's really blended in. Definitely underneath your cheeks so you have this little chiseled look underneath your chin so that it doesn't look like you have three different colors on your face. It looks like one natural piece of art. I don't know where I come up with stuff. What I like to do is I like to have a shimmer bronzer that's um, kind of dark for my face. I take this Buxom Hot Escapes bronzer in the color Tahiti. It is so pretty. And it smells like you think Tahiti would smell. Like it's just dreams. Why can't I be on a beach right now? So I'm taking a large fluffy brush, the same one I kind of use to blend out my contour. And I use it and I find where I want my glow to be. You can see the little like glow within it. Like you literally look like you just came from the beach. Now I'm going to spray my face because I'm pretty much done with my face. And you could be done like after this, maybe put a little blush on so it looks like you have some color in your face. But I just like spraying my face as much as possible. That way, it won't go anywhere. To get a really glowy look, I always use this Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC in Cheeky Bronzer. And I'm just taking a small fluffy brush and I'm smiling and I'm putting on the high points of my cheeks and spreading it that way. So if you are lighter and you need more color in your cheeks, just take a light, blush the one i have is in seduce from tarte so you just again apples of your cheeks and always spread so that it mixes in so you have a cheeky look still glowing from within but it's all mixed in that right if i want a really intense specific highlight i use this foundation brush by bobby brown but i usually quickly use this brush for my highlight. Really any highlight will do y'all. Any highlight that you have really works well. So this is a Beauty Guru palette for BH Cosmetics, Carly Babel. I don't think I've ever watched her, but this palette's really good. It was really cheap. They had these highlights in there and you can tell which ones I used the most, which was this one. So I'm lightly tapping with this brush and I'm just pressing it on my face. I use the excess on my nose and my lips, on my forehead a little bit. I recommend using your fingers for your nose so that way you get a very clean line. I don't love highlighting my nose just because my nose is kind of chunky. But if you have a thinner nose, it's, real, it's a really good trick to use. And if you have a thicker nose like me, do is I take a really small, almost like an eyeshadow brush, and I use the shade that's the lighter shade. And I just really follow my nose and then kind of spread it because I just kind of want to hide my whole nose. Sometimes it looks like massive. Just depends on the angle you get, really. You can always use the excess underneath. And then, of course, I always re-blend everything with this big foundation brush. I tap a little bit of this Hello Flawless, that's my highlighted color, and I just tap it, and I press it and I smooth it so that everything is tapped in and smooth. Um, yeah, you just get this really, really cool bronzed goddess look. Like, I promise you, if you use a lot of radiant straps, uh, shimmer blush, shimmer <laughs> contour over all your powders, you will have this glow from within look. And I'm telling you, I keep saying that, but I promise you, I'm telling you, you get so many compliments. It was just like this beautiful, natural glow. And there's no wrong way to contour. It's just where you want to put it on your face is the most important part. I hope you guys liked this. I will... I don't know. What am I doing with myself? What am I doing with my hair? Yes. Oh my god. Just... I bet this is really sexy.
I'm stupid. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be done. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.